Well, I don't know about you, Tayana, but I am still all about watching the summer games. It is just great to have on as we're supporting our athletes. But sometimes I want to do a few more things to celebrate. And why not maybe whip up a cocktail or two that is able to support the United States trying to go after those gold medals? Let's go ahead, bring in our gold medal winner already. Look at that. He's got the flag. <laughs> Jonathan is back with us, the cocktail guru. Jonathan, how have you been? I have been well. Uh, thank you very much. Hopefully uh, you all have been well as, as well. <laughs> oh, uh, I think so. It's great to see you. So what's new with Cocktail Guru these days? You know, what, what new shows and podcasts do you have coming up? Well, um, as you probably know from past appearances, I've been doing, uh, well, I've pivoted, uh, you know, and we're doing these virtual team building mixology classes for corporations. Uh, so that's been going strong as well. Um, I have a, a new YouTube show on a channel called Eats Drinks TV, Eats Drinks TV, and the show is called Cocktails the Grand Tour. Uh, so that's really fun. And then I'm starting a podcast with my dad <laughs> of all the people. My dad's been in the industry uh, my whole entire life, the, the liquor business. Um, so that'll be starting at the end of August or September. Um, and uh, aside from that, we have more in-person stuff happening. How do you how do you feel about that, guys? Nice. It, it is good. I'm still, you know, down here, it's a little wonky still in Florida. But, but we don't want to go there just yet because I'm talking about those times, you know, we're watching those games at home. We want to be able to feel like we're partaking. And you talked about one of the podcasts there. It sounded like you were maybe making drinks from all over. We did give you a task to make a drink that would really celebrate the summer games, right? <laughs> you are absolutely right. And I, I took the task and I, and I ran with it like I'm competing in the games. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and and the, the base of this cocktail, I'll go right ahead and, and just start walking you through it and making it. The base of the cocktail is actually a Japanese whiskey, of course, because the games are in Japan. This is called Hatozaki. Uh, and I have my cocktail shaker right over here. So actually before that, I'm gonna add egg white. So this is a drink, a lot of cocktails do contain egg white and it actually adds great texture to the cocktail, does not add much flavor in fact. And I'm going to add two ounces of my Hatozaki Japanese whiskey directly into my mixing glass right over here. I have a really nice ginger syrup that I'm adding to this. You can make your own ginger syrup at home. I actually, um, these are my friends. We have these cocktail box kits that we always send for our uh, corporate mixology classes are virtual ones and so these folks uh, at a company called cheeky make really great syrups and i'm adding three quarters of an ounce of the ginger syrup into my mixing glass just like that and to balance out that sweetness here we go some lemon juice fresh lemon juice i always use these fresh juices when i'm making up my cocktails um, nothing better than uh, great quality ingredients i always say nothing better than great quality athletes performing <laughs> and competing in the games, right? Hey, I love, you, you love how I throw that. I love it, I love the puns, I love getting it in there. I, 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 I'm, uh, you know, I can't help it. Um, so to add a little bit of golden color, I actually have some ground turmeric. So I'm just gonna add a couple of dashes to that. And here we go, now it's ice time and we'll give this a really nice shake. Look at that, you, you can already see the golden color. All right, we'll give it a shake. You ready, there we go. If there was a sport for shaking, I mean, really, maybe I would take the gold. Maybe I would take the gold. You'd be at least getting to the podium, if not the gold medal, for sure. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to shake a little bit longer. There we go. I want to get that nice texture from the egg white. And we will strain this out into what's called a cocktail coupe glass. And there we go. Should get a little bit of a nice little bit of texture. And the crown or the uh, torch, these beautiful oh. edible from my garden, uh, marigold flowers. Just top that off right in there. Ladies and gentlemen, the go for the gold. Ah, oh. beautiful. I'm jealous. I wish I had one right now. <laughs> soon, soon I will I will hope to make you some drinks in person. I'm curious, Jonathan, like yeah. what does that like even taste like? I'm trying to picture, I tried okay. to like kind of, you know, visualize yeah. what it would be as you were doing the ingredients, but I kind of got thrown with the egg white a little bit. I, I know it's going to be a little thicker maybe than oh. just the on ice drink, right? Like kind of describe it for us. Right. So 
if you've ever had a whiskey sour before, yeah. um, it is very similar in flavor to a whiskey sour because the Japanese whiskey, they actually use similar methods to how they make uh, Scotch whiskey in Scotland. Uh, so it is uh, grain based. And okay. then the ginger adds a little touch of that ginger pop and then the citrus element in there as well. And then a really nice mouthfeel, texture, full bodied, um, gingery, whiskey sour style of drink. That's like great. It. And I have to say, I love that you added that note about the egg whites and the texture, because I know some people see that in a recipe and they get a little confused. I so mean, that's yes. good to know. No, do not shy away from drinks with eggs in them. I actually, I, that's what I'm most attracted to when I look at a cocktail menu is a drink with eggs in it. Um, and, you know, it, it's it's safe, 100% safe to have. And it adds this really nice texture. Again, not much flavor that it adds to the drink, more for texture and visuals. As you can see, it's kind of it's this really nice foamy texture, right? Yeah, that is I so cool. I love that. Okay, so I have to ask too, I know you were doing those virtual mixology classes and in closing, I know you got less than 30 seconds here. Can people still partake in those things? Can they still interact with you? Or really is the new shows the best way to go these days? No, absolutely. Uh, our virtual events are still going strong. So you can go to thecocktailguru.com and okay. find out more. Uh, we do them worldwide because we can send our cocktail kits worldwide. And of course, it's all virtual. Uh, In-person team building events, other soirees and gatherings all around the U.S. because I have a team all across the U.S. So even though I'm personally in the Northeast and you are in Florida, I do events. I do events in Florida as well. So um, look me up. and. Well, you know what? Job well done. I'll tell you, we gave you the task of making a gold medal drink. You took it. You ran with it. Again, you won the gold in our eyes, Jonathan. Great to see you again, buddy. USA. There we go. Let's, let's sing the anthem now. No. I'll spare everybody at home me singing. But we do hope you stay right there because we have more blend on the other side of the break.